Okay, by request, I'm going to show you how to add a multiple choice question to your quiz. Remember, you have to have at least one question where the user enter, enters their answer, where they type it in, and the rest can be multiple choice. So I added a column. You don't have to, but I kind of wanted to organize it a little bit different. And I'm going to add a label at the top, which is going to be the question that I'm going to ask. So this label, I'll call it, um, I'll call it multiple choice question one label. I've been spelling label all day. Okay, and my question will be is what day is tomorrow? Okay, so there's that. Now, if you scroll down, you'll find something that's called list viewer. And the list viewer I'm going to put just below that label for what day is tomorrow. Oops. I'm going to rearrange it because I really want that question to be first. Okay, so now in my list viewer, I'm going to call this uh, multiple choice answers one. All right, so now in the text items is where I'm going to answer or put all of my the choices that the person has. So today is Monday, so I'll put Monday. That would be a wrong answer. Tuesday, and if you, I'm just hitting enter, or you can click add. Um, today, tomorrow. All right, so notice how you spell it, because the way you spell it is going to be really important. I'm going to turn off this show arrow because the show arrow means that if they click it, it'll move to a new screen if you wanted to. But we're not doing that. I'm using this as a multiple choice question. So if you wanted to have a, you know, go to question one and they click on that, it'll have an arrow. Let me show you what I mean by that. It'll be easier. So if I say show arrow, it's these arrows that it's talking about. And so if that's clicked, it could send them to a new page, but that's not what I want. I want it to be a multiple choice. So I'm going to turn off the show arrow. And now I'm going to go to the blocks and show you what happens. I'm going to go to the list uh, multiple choice answers and when an item is clicked. So for the, oops, I didn't mean to look up the word when. So when an item is clicked, I'm going to go grab my if block and say if that item is Tuesday, then the person wins. So I'm going to go get an equal sign. Now here's the item. It's right here. So I'm going to just duplicate this block. Don't take it out of there. Duplicate it. So I'm going to say if the item that was clicked upon is the word Tuesday in the way that I spelled it. Tuesday. Make sure you spell it the same way in your list as you do right here in your thing. Then I'll just copy all this saying they got it right. I'll turn the background green. I'll wait a second. And then I'll turn the background back to white again. If not, I'll turn the background red and I'm not going to spend the time in this video showing you me duplicating over and over. So we say if the item that was clicked upon is equal to the word Tuesday, then we change the background to green and then back to white again. So let's go give it a shot, preview it. So now those arrows are gone and I can click on any one of these. I'm going to click on today because that's wrong. Turn the background red, but now if I click on Tuesday, it turns background green and then back to white again. Okay, that's it.